Want to say hi? <laughs> hey, friendlies, I'm Carolyn, and this is Sadie, and welcome back to our life living in an RV. I have been wanting to show you something for the longest time and haven't gotten around to shooting it for you. I made a really small change to the living area of my RV that really just helped make it feel more like a tiny home and less like an RV. And I want to share that with you today and show you how I did it and the difference it made and the, all kinds of fun stuff. But before I do, I have an exciting announcement. You guys have been asking me for for years to make a calendar of pictures of my travels. Guess what? I am working on a calendar for 2022. Yeah, yay! We have a calendar. I have been pouring through years of photos. Unfortunately, a couple years, first few years of my RV life, I don't have access to because I've got two broken hard drives, but I have been able to find some amazing photos of my travels of Sadie. There's even some Matilda in there. So I am putting together a 2022 calendar that should be ready to ship the third week of December. And I have a special offer for you. If you pre-order it now, I'm going to share some where am I going to share some pictures? I don't have all the pictures chosen yet. I'm still working on it. I gave a sneak preview to patrons yesterday, but I've been making changes to it since they saw it. So uh, let me see. Go to social media. Uh, if you go to Twitter or Facebook, you'll be able to see actually even the community tab here on Patreon. I posted one of the photos yesterday. But this is a pre-order, pre-sale offer. So $21.99 if you order now. That's $3 off of the regular price if you place your pre-order before December 1st. And there's a link on my website. I will put the link to access that in a pinned comment below, also in the video description, so that you can go there right now, save $3 before December 1st, you know, they're pictures from my travels. So this is this pre-sale is kind of like an element of surprise, <laughs> you know, but uh, there's lots of fun. The, the patrons loved what I showed them already. I shared it with a couple other trusted viewers already, and people are really excited. So your, your calendar, your 2022 calendar of fun adventure travels along the way, pictures from Wyoming, Vermont, Maine, Minnesota, all kinds of fun stuff. So Go to Carolyn's RV Life. The link is in the video description. Check it out. Pre-order yours today. You can order as many as you want. Uh, and shipping is included in the $21.99 uh, cost of the of the uh, calendar. We put everything all in one to make it easy. And I'm sorry we can only ship to U.S. addresses because of the exorbitant costs of international shipping. I'm sorry. I know. So go to my website and order yours today. We're excited. I'm really excited. I'm glad that uh, we were able to finally get this done for you guys. So uh, another project you guys have been asking me for checked off the list. And yes, I know a lot of you want a cookbook and that will be next. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that'll be maybe next year. The good news is now that I, we, we've got the calendar process, there's a lot that goes into this stuff. It's not just, ooh, you know, pick some pretty pictures and you have a calendar, voila. So the good news is we have this, all the systems in place now. So next year it'll be easier. So maybe by next year I can have a cookbook and a calendar for you. All right. The second announcement I want to make is the Business Booster Holiday Giveaway. If you missed that video, I'll put it up here. Also in the I'll put uh, in the video description and maybe also in the pinned comment. I did a video announcing that I'm going to be supporting small businesses again this year, and their payment for that is to give you guys a free gift. So I'm going to be doing a live stream on Christmas Day. I'm going to be giving away the free gifts that are donated from the small businesses as well as some free gifts. I'm going to be giving away a whole bunch of cool stuff, calendars and coffee and merch and whatever else I can find that I think might be fun to give away. Maybe some of my fun my best RV things from Amazon as well. But if you're a small business owner, check out that video, email me. The deadline is coming up. 
can't remember, I think it was December 1st was the deadline to email me if you want to participate. You get free advertising. My viewers get a free gift from you for paying attention to the advertising and hopefully shopping. My goal is to drive some holiday traffic to your business and help small businesses out. I know it's been a tough couple of years. Being a small business owner is really tough anyway, but you add what's been going on the last couple of years and I know it's even harder. So I'm excited about helping my fellow uh, sister small business owners. Okay, so that's the announcements I have. So why don't I show you the hack that I did to my RV to make it so much more homey? Do you want to show them what we did? What do you think? <laughs> okay, this is it. So many of you know if you live in a Class C RV, you've got this opening here. Sorry, Sadie just... <laughs> butted my arm. You have this opening here that goes into the cab and it comes with a set of curtains that you can put across it and over the top of it uh, if you want privacy and that's it. That was That's all you have for privacy. You completely block this off with a very generic, you know, RV-ish curtain and mine looks like this. Actually, this is the only one that I have left. So mine looks like this. That's what it looked like. And it's fine. You know, it's neutral, so it's fine. But I wanted some privacy, easy, easily accessible. Something that I don't have to, because when I'm driving and I leave Sadie in the RV or if I'm stopping for lunch and I'm getting some work done, I have to dig all of this out and put it up. The snaps broke a long time ago. But now I have this privacy curtain. Look at this. So now all I have to do is slide it. Look at, slide it open. Look at, slide it closed. And I have privacy in here. And not only does it give me a level of privacy when I'm on the move and I just want to close it because I don't want people gawking at the inside. Um, it also just gives me a more of a homey feeling. I mean, it's a set of curtains. So it gives me more of a homey feeling even when I'm living in here. So I'll show you, you know, even when I'm just hanging out, uh, rather than blocking off the whole front and just kind of, it's just, I don't think it's as pretty. I like the curtains. See how the sun is coming through right now. Of course, I still have ways to block it off completely, mostly for the cold weather. And I've done videos, check out my videos up here about how to prepare for living in an RV in cold weather. I've done two videos and I always talk about blocking that front part off because you have all the windows, you have the engine compartment, a lot of, it's not insulated like the house part is. So you get a lot of cold air and maybe warm air on, on summer days coming through there. So I can still block it off when I need to for you know insulating and, and comfort temperature control. But a day like today, I can have that whole area open and look how much it just opens it up. Uh, you know, and I can put a, the curtain over the dash and over the steering wheel to kind of hide that. And I just really like it. So let me show you what it is. It's a simple plastic tra uh, track. It's like a track curtain. And I got it on Amazon. I'll put links in the video description for you. And it's easy to cut if you have a hacksaw. It does have a metal band in inside the plastic. So you do need a hacksaw to cut it. And you just cut it to size. And then it has these brackets that hold it, that you just snap in. You screw down the brackets and then you snap in the track. And then you have these little pulley, you have these little pulley things uh, with hooks for your curtain. You can put any curtain on it you want. Of course, this is not a complete privacy curtain. It's, it, you can see through it. It's not completely sheer, but if it's dark outside and light in here, you can see through it. So like I said, I have the thicker blackout curtain that I do put up at night and again, use it also for temperature control. But for during the day, if I want just a little bit of privacy, you know, if it is a heavily trafficked road outside and people are going by and I'm in here working, I feel a bigger sense of privacy, even though you can kind of see through this, it's during the day, it's not as easy to see through it. So I do get more privacy during the day. So super, really, really easy to install. The one 
challenge I had for installation is that the it's meant to hang up on a window on the ceiling. So the, how can I explain this? So these hooks right here are meant to hang down and gravity holds the hook in place. The weight of the curtain holds it down. So because I don't have, because I had to put it, you know, basically this surface is acting as an upside down ceiling, if that makes sense. And so the hooks have to go this way. So I, I, uh, they don't stay on as well as they would if it was hanging from the ceiling. So some of these I've gone through with a pair of pliers and I've just bent them on so that they stay on. Yeah, but other than that, I really like it. The more I can do in my RV, and you guys know I did the remodel last year, two years ago, I made the L shape. And if you missed the video about how I did that, you can look up here uh, for those of you who have devices where you can actually see the little bands of suggested videos up here. And actually at the end, you know what? At the end, uh, I'll put a card and also put it in the video description for those of you who can't access such features on your devices. Uh, but yeah, you know, when I did the remodel last year, every little thing that I can do in here to kind of take away the RV feeling helps. It feels like a tiny home in here. I walk in here, you know, it doesn't, I mean, I guess it looks like an RV. It's still an RV, but it just feels like a tiny home to me with all the little touches and taking away, you know, or revamping this opening here just is one more thing that you can do to make your RV feel more like a tiny home and less like a vehicle that you're living in. So I'm really happy with that. I really like it. You can get everything here on Amazon and I'll put links below and uh, hope you found that helpful. And I hope that gives you just another idea about how to make your RV a tiny home or whatever it is that you live in. And uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, get your calendar. Small businesses, notify me. And I'll give you more details about the Christmas Day live stream pretty soon. And don't forget to check the video description for all the links to all the cool stuff that I talked about in this video, including the curtains. I'm pretty sure the curtains are on Amazon as well. All right. I will see you Sunday for another travel video from New England. I think Sunday night might be Maine. And I do have a lot more Vermont coming up. I just gave you a... I, I just gave you a, a sneak peek of Vermont. I went back through Vermont and spent more time. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe below. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with everybody you know. All right. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. I'll see you soon.